Hey there everyone, Captain Beers here, bringing you another Landgrisser mobile video. Let's get it. Alright guys, now as you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be your Elwyn guide slash showcase i've been working on him obviously he's the same level as my leon uh power level 3000 i'm trying to get that a little bit higher but you know it's taking me a little bit of time um and as you can see i'm close to his next star up i have been grinding the bond system um i did do my leon first uh my lana and then my liana i'm working on tiaras and uh as you can see she has her, already has one but i'm still working on her getting her up there and uh pretty much everybody else was just getting pulls like extra pulls up pulling dupe copies of them and stuff so i am currently working on getting elwin's star up but we're gonna get right into it here starting off the top all right so elwin is supposed to be one of the most uh, broken units in the game when he gets his buff apparently he gets a buff in the future um and that makes him very very strong some people say arguably the strongest unit in the game i don't know how true that is but i have been looking at his kit and i can honestly say i can see why people would say he's busted because he's actually a really solid unit, really good unit. Now, I don't use him a lot just because you guys know how I am. I like to run different teams. I like to do different things. Um, but I have been using him more and more, and I've actually been liking his kit quite a lot. So he's going to be in three factions, starting from the top here. He's going to be part of the protagonist, which is a pretty strong faction. But like I always tell everybody, you know, if you could run a different faction, it's much better. I mean, if you train up your Matthew, get him really far, get him really strong... Then yeah, the Protagonist is not a bad group to run. Especially because it has the top two healers in the game and one of the best supports in the game, which is Chris. So yeah, the Protagonist can be a very, very strong group. Um, obviously it's more based on SSRs. So if you do or not if you are not rocking a lot of SSRs, then that is something you might want to think about not running, just because it kind of relies on that. And his next team, which is probably his best team, which is the Legion of Glory team. Um, this team is extremely strong for him. Um, running Leiden, Elwyn, Sherry, Liana, Chris is uh, almost broken. It's really powerful. If you work on just those five units, um, you can do some serious work. Um, and not to mention, you know, these other units here, like the R's here, are extremely good themselves. Especially Jessica. Jessica has the uh, teleport ability, so she's really strong. And Hein is really good too. Um, so very strong team here, the Legion of Glory. Take nothing from them. And then the Empire Honors team, which is said to be the PvP-oriented team. Um, I don't really think it should just be like said that it's just a PvP-oriented team, because I use them in PvE all the time. Um, but this is going to be a very strong team for him, too. It's pretty cool that he's actually on the two very, very, very strong teams, which is going to be the Legion of Glory and the Empire's Honor. So in, an, in technicality, you, get, you can actually run him consistently. The only team he is not going to be able to be run on is the um, Princess Faction team and the Meteor Strike team. But those units, those teams require specific units, especially the Meteor Strike team. The Meteor Strike team is very specific, so he doesn't really care about that. Um, and the Princess Faction, obviously, is the Princesses. Um, but the Empire's Honor team, very solid again. Um, him and Leon combo quite well. Leon has high mobility, and uh, Elwyn doesn't have high mobility, so Elwyn's kind of going to be that back line defending the uh healers uh helping out the tanks chop down people especially if you put them with varg varg will take the shots elwin will go ahead and finish them off um same thing if you have burn burn will take the shots um elwin will finish off and if you're running your boy sephiroth as the tank then same thing goes there now there's a couple of different ways to run your boy elwin here and we're gonna go that into that right now with the upgrade classes all right guys so starting from his top class here which is where you're gonna start which is the fighter um, he gets this uh, move detect. It's a passive. It's a one cost. I can honestly say this is probably um, one of the worst moves on him. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. What I'm saying is he has so many good moves that this is on the probably the bottom of the list. I would my opinion obviously here. Um, just because there's just way better other stuff that I kind of think that are way better. But let's go over here. Crit increase by 10%. When dealing damage, there's a 50% chance to disable enemies' passive skills. Last two turns, 100% chance to trigger when landing a critical hit. What that means is he's going to get crit increased by 10%, which is pretty nice. Um, then when he deals damage, if he critted, then he will disable the enemy's passive skills for two turns. So if he hits somebody with, um, if he hits somebody like Freya 
or somebody like Varg, because those units have barb on them, and this procs off, their barb cannot activate. So that's really, really good in that sense. So if you see your, you, you see on the enemy team, you're fighting a Freya or you're fighting a lot of enemies and they a, a lot of them have barb, then this is a pretty good move to put on just because um, if it procs off, barb can't affect you, which is really nice. Um, but let's move on here. Like I said, that one's okay. Um, we're going to start from the left here, Highlander. Now, I don't recommend opening this path to make him the Highlander. Opening the path for the passive skill, not bad, right? Actually quite worth it. But making him a blue Highlander, I don't think that's a good idea. Just because um, his other two Grand Marshal and Hero are just a million times better. But when HP percentage is higher than the enemies, attack increases by 12% when entering battle. This is really good if you can use it the right way. And by the right way, I mean you put this on. It's only a one cost and it's a passive, which is awesome. You put this on, you have a AoE unit, All right? Let's go over some team comps here. You have an AoE unit, so any of these units that can hit any AoE moves, uh, such as your girl Al here, you have her hit a tornado, for instance. That's one of her AoE moves. Hits all the units. Even if it does a little bit of damage, it still hits all the units. Then you have your L1 come in and hit the unit. He's going to have 12% increase in attack. So that's where Crush comes really good. When you um, partner him up with other units that can do AOE moves. Even Sherry with her um, wind whirl or wind move, wind spiral, so whatever it's called there. Um, so any units that can hit any kind of AOE is perfect to combo with um, our boy Elwin's crush move here. Um, and the Empire Honors team does have your boy Egghead here, which he's the like AOE king from what I heard. But moving on here. So crush comes handy when you get that, but I recommend... That should be the very last thing you put a rune into, just because the others are kind of better. Um, then you got Swordsman here, which gives you a 2 cost roar. Um, attacks a single enemy, dealing 1.3 times damage. Before battle, dispels 2 enemy buffs and decreases their attack and int by 20%. Last one turn. Elwyn, I could honestly say, he's like Varg's nightmare. He is Varg and Freya's nightmare. When uh, somebody rolls with, an El with a Varg or Freya and you pull out your Elwyn, it's a just it's a GG just because he's just gonna strip everything off of them just with his kit in general and then being a red they just really stand no chance if I'm being honest with you guys especially if you build your um Elwin up pretty strong here but what this is gonna do is it's okay on the damage 1.3 times it's not his strongest move but it is pretty good um and before the battle dispels two enemy de two enemy buffs and decreases their attack and in by 20 percent so that means if you're hitting that Varg, or if you're hitting any unit that has buffs on them, it's going to strip off two buffs, and then he's going to attack, um, and decrease their attack and int by 20%. So whether it's a um, physical like Leon, or a mage like Lana, they're going to get their stuff decreased, which is super awesome. So Roar is not a bad move at all. Very good for the PvP scene, I would say. Um, and then going into general here. Now this is another one, Defense Break, which is a one cost. I think honestly this is probably the best passive for him at, at that one cost just because before battle 50% chance to reduce enemies defense by 20% last one turn this happens before battle that's a coin flip so if he goes up to goes up to a unit and he goes to attack them and he flips that coin this procs off you're gonna you're gonna decrease that enemy's defense by 20% for the, a whole turn so anybody that attacks that unit is, is going to be shredding that unit down. And it's going to be amazing. So defense break, I highly suggest if you go into that hero path, at least use one rune to unlock a defense break, which I am thinking about highly. Um, let's go into this next class here, which is the hero. Now we're going to go into builds. So I'm going to say if you run hero, maybe you should do this and that. So hero is going to be where you get your fusion power faction buff, right? Active skill, attack and defense increase significantly for all Legion of Glory allies within range. When HP is above 80%, damage increases by 15% last 4 turns. This is probably one of the best uh, fusion powers in the game, <clears throat> my opinion. Just because it is very easy to manage this. When HP is above 80%, that's pretty easy guys. Keep your units healed up and they're going to get 15% increase in damage. Usually other units are like have this amount of fusion, 
have this amount of, uh, of uh, buffs on or be on certain terrain or this and that and that's how some buffs work and it kind of kind of sucks that you have to work around that at least this one's a lot easier it's like hey keep your hp up and you get those 15 percent increase in stats which is super nice um and like all other fusion powers it lasts four turns so definitely one of the uh best fusion powers in the game um and depending on who you're fighting you can either run his or you can run uh Leiden's because the legion they both hold the legion of glory he's more offensive based while Leiden is more defensive based so if your team is all about kind of sitting back being a little bit defense then you definitely want to run Leiden's fusion power over Elwin's now if you're trying to be go 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 attack 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 definitely run uh Elwin's fusion power now moving into his next move here which is said to be his strongest move I believe it's his strongest move yeah it's his strongest move and it's the uh I say it's the PvP killer, just because attacks a single enemy dealing 1.8 times damage. Before battle, dispels 5 buffs from the enemy. Effective enemies cannot be healed last 2 turns. That's insane. Insane. If you hit, like, even if he's a red and he goes up to, to Leon and hits Leon with this, it ain't gonna do much damage, but there goes all of Leon's buffs, and then on top of that, Leon cannot be healed. So then you can start trucking him down, which is awesome. And that's not one turn, that's two turns. So this is definitely your uh, PvP killer move. If you see somebody and they activate that fusion power, go in with the sword soul and just knock them down. Even, like I said, even if it doesn't do a lot of damage, the fact that it's going to strip five buffs off of the enemy is insane. And then the fact that they can't be healed is just catastrophic on top of that. So definitely a solid move and definitely worth unlocking if you got the boy now another path people like to take him is the general into the grand marshal which is going to make him your tank he's going to get barb now do note when you are building him the grand marshal way it is very different from building him the hero way if you go into the grand marshal way it is defense 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 while the hero way is more like offense hp defense but more on the offense role so Grand Marshal gets Barb, which I love Barb. You guys know my Freya has Barb, and my Freya is very damage dealing. And uh, also my Varg, Barb, Barb. So very damage dealing move, and it's a very good move. Don't take nothing from Barb. The fact that it has a one cost is super nice. Um, and it's pretty easy to manage too. When attacked with a melee attack after battle, if unit HP is above 50%, triggers Barb. Deals fixed damage once to the enemy, damage... 2.5 times heroes defense so if you build him on crazy high defense and barb procs off you're gonna see some really good numbers from this guy and then his second strongest move which is frontal assault attacks a single enemy dealing 1.7 times damage so his second strongest move before entering battle adds 20 percent of attack to defense and disables all enemy passive skills last two turns cannot be dispelled so this is a very good move it's a very uh defensive based move and i would say you know if you're running this guy and you want to run him in that defensive manner um this is definitely the way to go i mean he's still going to do some crazy good damage with this move here but what that does adds 20 percent of attack to defense it just means when he attacks somebody um he's not going to take as much damage with this move off right and on top of that on top of that disables all enemy passive skills for two turns so that's really good the fact that it can't be dispelled either and i would definitely say if you're running this guy maybe something like um sword soul let's see frontal assault and defense break could be a very strong kit or even sword soul frontal assault and crush can be extremely good too i um, mean you could run different combos here if you need the fusion power you can go very easy here eternal light sword soul and defense break our eternal light sword soul and crush so very strong moves there too um roar is not too bad either especially if you're dealing with enemies with lots of buffs yeah sticking sword soul and roar on and then going after the enemies is pretty strong too and like i said if you're building him in that defensive manner then i would say frontal assault barb and then either the fusion power or even sword soul just to deal with any enemies with crazy amounts of buffs 
Um, so let's go ahead and talk about his talent and his skills. All right, so his talent is really what shines, what makes him shine as a, an attacker for the game. And uh, really like that Leon pair, him and Leon can just really go at it for them damage, those deeps, because it's super clean the amount of damage you're going to see from these guys. When attacking, damage increases by 10%. So that's just going to give a base increase of damage, right? So that's really good in itself. And then after battle, there's a 40% chance to restore HP, which is 30% of hero's damage dealt. Now, when you star up this guy, this gets broken. This gets very, very broken. Because when you star him up, these numbers start to increase. And you're going to see that he's going to hit really freaking hard. And then after he hits really freaking hard, he's going to heal almost back to max health. And it's just busted. Absolutely busted. And... Definitely his talent shines a lot. So building him in that attack manner, crazy, crazy. Because the more damage he's going to do, the more he's going to heal. 30% of heroes damage dealt. So understand that, guys. So if he's hitting for 20k, 30% of that, that's a freaking lot, right? Let's go into the skills here. All right, I fixed the mistake here. All right, so I got the uh, defense break here. So now I'm going to swap over detect over for defense break. I'm running the fusion power. So when I'm not using... Uh, Leiden's fusion power, I'm going to be using his fusion power, and when I'm not using Leon's fusion power or Bernhardt's fusion power, I'm going to be um, using his fusion power. Now, obviously, it depends on the team I'm running. If I'm running Empire Honors team, then obviously I cannot run his fusion power because it's going to do nothing for them. But if I'm running the um, Legion of Glory team, then his fusion power is the way I usually like to go. And this is my current setup right here with the Sword Soul because it's a very strong move and I feel like it's, it's just worth it in general. And uh, even Sun Slash. And I do like to swap off the Eternal Light for my Sun Slash and run Sun Slash and Sword Soul. Just because Sun Slash does have a quicker cooldown. So two turn cooldown. And it's going to restore my HP. Which is very nice. Um, it's just like activating his talent. Just it's on a move and it's going to restore my HP. Unlike his talent, his talent which is a chance. So that's the difference between uh, those two moves guys. If you're like oh why, activate, why have Sun Slash when you have his talent. You, get, you do got to understand that Sun Slash does give you, restores HP by 30%. So there's not a chance it is going to happen, <laughs> which is very, very nice. So this is my current setup on his skills and his talent. Yeah, I forgot to do the class up thing to go grab defense break, which I've done that before. I hate doing that because that wastes so much gold. But right now, guys, let's go over soldiers here. Now, I think his equipment, yeah. Got to re-put on the dagger again. All right, then we'll go back to that. And go back into him because we just keep clicking a bunch of things here. There we go. All right, so he has some very strong soldier choices here. All right, so <clears throat> I would say in the beginning of the game, heavy infantry is easily the way to go. Um, just because it gives you that offense, defense. When attacking, soldier attack increases by 18%. When attack, soldier defense increases by 18%. Very easy, um, very easy to run with and pretty good, I would definitely say. Um, maids are not too bad. But I would say heavy infantry is the way to go because with maids, they don't give you no defense. When soldier HP is above 80%, attack increases by 20%. So if you get attacked, you're going to take that full-on attack, and that's going to suck. So something to understand with them. Now, he does have the mass maids, which I think is probably his best unit um, opinion. Before entering battle, sacrifice 10% of unit's current HP to increase soldier attack defense and magic defense by 30 percent that is a lot and it gets even higher the more you level up these girls um do understand it does sacrifice 10 percent hp that's actually not a lot especially with him because of his talent so he always has a chance to heal and then if you do sun slash he's gonna heal regardless um and this is before entering battle so whether he's attacked or he's attacking this is going to happen you're going to be increasing your soldier attack defense and magic defense by 30 percent which is very, very strong. Um, they're red. Now, you could go with a blue when attacking. Attack and defense increased by 14%. Um, obviously, it's pretty low because I haven't really leveled these guys up yet. But if you level these guys up, he can have a very nice blue combo there, which is pretty strong in itself. Um, if you have him as a Grand Marshal, I would still recommend the Mass Maidens. But the uh, Lance guys here are not bad themselves. Physical damage taken decreased by 12%. Um, and if you can upgrade that, you can, and it'd be freaking awesome. Dark Centurions are not, not bad either. Um, so he has access to some really good units, guys. And I would definitely say 
um, look at the units you want to run. Me personally, I'm going to be going with the Mass Maids and be switching up between Mass Maids and Dragoons. Um, and when eventually I do unlock these guys, I might use these guys a little bit too. Let's go into the equipment here. Alright, so as you can see with the equipment, um, I do got three SSRs on them. None of them are powered up yet just because I haven't gotten uh, any uh, Mithril ores to be able to power up the SSR equipment. Which I believe now I have enough to go get some. Um, and I'm going to be probably using it on his dagger first. Just because the dagger is very nice. Wind cutter dagger attack plus 4%. Which I, I, I already like. That's nice. When attacking after battle grants a 30% chance to reduce enemies defense by 20%. Which is a pretty good move. I mean if you can hit somebody with this and that procs off. You decrease their defense. And then somebody else can come up and clean the kill. Or in the next turn he can clean the kill. Or if you have Liana with him she uses again. He can just do even more damage if he hits that enemy again and this procced off. Uh, but the attack plus 4% is really nice. Um, then you got the armor here which I went with just because a little bit on the defensive side. Defense plus 4%. Received heal effects plus 4%. He's just going to be able to heal up a little bit more. Um, which becomes really good when you're partnering him up in the Legion of Glory team. Because the healers in that team are just crazy. Chris and Liana can go very, very crazy. Um, then we got Chain Helmet. I do want to switch this one off. It is defense plus 6%, which is okay. I probably might switch it for HP or try to get something else. Um, but I currently have that at 4 star. I might keep it. I'm not too sure. Um, and then we got the Spirit Boots. Defense plus 3 can move 2 blocks after attacking a target. I really like this because it gives him that Leon mobility. Um... And also just because to get him in that offensive state. Now, he doesn't have high mobility. He's not like Leon. Leon can go across the board pretty easily. Um, he won't. So to keep him up with Leon, he's going to attack somebody and be able to move, which is exactly where I want him to be. Now, the enchantments I went with. Let's go over to the forge here. Now, I went with full moon. Full moon is not bad on him. When HP is above 80%, all offensive and defensive stats increase by 10%. Very easy to keep him above 80% just because he's consistently healing himself. And on top of that, if you do decide to put on Sun Slash, he's going to heal himself even more. So something on the, to understand about Full Moon is you can always have that running. Um, Rough C is not too bad either. I don't have it here. But Rough C is absolutely clutch in itself too. Um, just because, let's go over to Rough C here. My Leon actually has a rough C on. Rough C when attacking, attack increases by 10% and damage taken is reduced by 15%, which is absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you're trying to keep him on that attack, 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 rough C is really good. Now think though, when you throw Elwin on rough C, his mobility is not as good as Leon's. So for him to try to get to a target and hit them, you got to be mindful of that. You got to make sure you're playing your cards right if you throw Elwin on rough C. You want to make sure that if you throw L1 on Rough C, maybe give him some boots for mobility or maybe just set him up in a way that, okay, my target can't reach me yet. Now I can reach my target, boom, and move him in with that Rough C for the kill. So that's why I put him on Full Moon, just because he'll be able to take a hit and he'll be able to do the hitting, which I feel like is the absolute best for him. Now the other ones I do recommend are going to be, let's go over to the Forge here. Let's see, uh... Not really Tree of Life. I mean, if you are running him pure kind of tankishness, I, I I would say don't run that though. <laughs> Steel, not either. Thorns is not too bad. I have seen a lot of people run their Elwins with Thorns, which is surprising. You have high HP, and then when attacked, there's a 30% chance to reflect damage taken by 50%, which can come in absolute clutch. If a Leon goes up to you, and attacks you and attacks you and you proc your thorns that leon is going to take a lot of damage um do note though thorns is an rng move so if it does not proc off you are going to die um and do note you're not going to get a lot of attack coming from thorns just because that's when attacked so you're not getting any attack buffs or any of that um what else and uh i don't recommend the meteor or the uh, blazing sun enchantments just because they're based upon crits and you don't really care too much about crits about him. But yeah. Um, let's see. And what's the last one? Which is ice. Ice is not too bad either. When attacked, 20% chance to render the attack the attacker unable to attack. Pretty good. 
he's not so much a tank though he's not going to jump in front of shots so be mindful throwing on ice is probably not a good idea either my recommendations are definitely going to be full moon and rough sea anyways guys if you are building your boy in any other way oh yeah i forgot to mention the stats i went after attack percent on my stats <clears throat> So as you can see, I got attack percent here. I got attack four and three. I'm gonna try to get that different because I want more attack here and probably some HP and defense. Then I got defense 6%, attack 3%, which is pretty nice. Defense 5%, attack 2%, which is pretty nice. And attack 4%, HP 5%, HP 48, which is really good too. So I got some pretty decent stats on him. I think the only thing I really need to do on him is probably just increase all this armor. Uh, definitely get my SSR armor here to four star, which will be very good and then go on from there. But other than that, guys, if you are building your Elwin in any other way, please comment down below and let me know. Cause I want to know what your builds are. Anyways, guys, let's get into the showcase. All right, guys. So we're in the showcase here. We're just doing a time rift mission. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible with this. Um, this is the ideal team for him right here, which is going to be. Uh, Chris and Liana backline support here and then you're gonna run Leiden as your kind of tank unit here and then Elwin and Sherry has your DPS dealers here now I hear a lot of praise about this team and a lot of people say this is the greatest PvE team to ever exist and I have no problem with that I personally don't like running this team just because I, I like to be very 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 offensive and I like to have my units just get in there and try to obliterate things as quick as possible. Now, not to say I'm not a smart player, but just to say I'd like to play things a little bit differently, if I should say. So my current setup is something along this nature here, which is, I know, very weird, um, but this is currently what I like to run. So what I do in this case, if I'm running this here, I'll take his buff off and I'll throw on Sun Slash here and I'll have Leon run the fusion power. So that's currently what I like to run here. Um, so I'm not saying this is the greatest team for him. I'm not saying this is the best. There's a many versions of the team that you can play with and you can run him. Um, you can even do what I like to do, which is my pure um, princess power team. So if you want to throw all your princesses on and then have Elwin run his own fusion power, you can do that too. So he can initially be your Leon of the princess, princess power team because pretty much an example here would be like this, right? Twin power. Twin power with Elwin, right? Instead of twin power with Leon. So if you're fighting a lot of greens, you throw Elwin in there and he'll pretty much be your Leon of this team. Um, so this is my current favorite setup, except I like to swap off Elwin and Leon. So that's what I like to do. But if I'm really trying to hammer the opponent down, then this is what I like to run right here. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. Now we got Leon running the fusion power and we got Elwin running his normal moves here shelf make sure she's running her fusion power which she currently is not farming those goblins and there we go let's do it all right stop the enemy from getting to the end there um this is going to be a time rift guys so i think i've done this time rift before but we're just going to hit it again uh let's go here Try to get Leon as far as possible. Try to stop the enemies from up there. I know he'll probably get attacked here, but that's a-okay. Now he's going to activate the fusion power, which is what I want, because I want Leon to pretty much be the king of everything right now. And Elwin is just pretty much just going to be our damage dealer. Just knock these enemies down. Uh, not you. You. Yes. All right, there we go. Now the good thing about my Elwin is he is running those boots so I can actually hit this opponent here and then move him up and then have him pretty much try to take all this damage here. Now before battle 50% chance to reduce enemy's defense by 20%. Now that's if he's attacked or if he's attacking it doesn't matter. That is a coin flip regardless of what you're doing. Um, so I could go Sun Slash here um, just because I don't know what the effect is of this unit is going to be on me, but for now, I'm going to go with... He has no buffs, so I'm just going to go raw attack. We're just going to see his raw attack here. See so he's got Mad Whip, because the unit's got to damage... The, his uh, soldiers got to damage him themselves. Beautiful damage there, 13,000. Alright, and then we're going to move him right there. 
And we'll have Alana come up and hit these guys with the uh, black hole after we activate Shell's fusion power. And hopefully these units attack our Elwyn here so that way we can see his defense capabilities without the uh, without running him as a Grand Marshal. Alright, yep, I figured they were going to go after Lana here, but that's okay if they take her down. This is all about our boy Elwyn here. Guard. Yep. I knew they were going to do that. That's A-OK. -okay. I'll have Leon go after these guys, and Elwyn will take care of these guys up here. Alright, so OK on the defense. Not too uh, strong there. Um, do note, though, he still has his abilities to heal by himself. So now I can hit Sun Slash. And I will do good amounts of damage, and I should heal up quite a bit here. Now, I know the green's going to jump in front, which is perfect. Exactly what I want. So, now I'm going to hit with Sun Slash, which should do, like I said, decent amount of damage. But now he's going to heal. And then, if his other talent were to proc off, that would abs actually heal too, which is insane. Um, we are going to have Leon. Should I have Leon defend the girls? I'll go after that runner. Probably go after the runner, right? Yeah, we'll have Leon go after the runner. And then we're going to have Shelf do this. Hopefully it kills the red here. Beautiful. And then Liana will do this. I don't think it's going to kill, though. She's strong, but okay. Okay, she's strong enough. She, she, she shut me up. All right. Of course, he's going to go after Elwin here. See if we can get some procs off. So, Defense Break didn't proc off there. Now, Defense Break proc'd off there, which is beautiful. So, now the enemy's not going to do as much damage. And his talent just proc'd off. So, as you can see, he just healed that up. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Okay, so these are blue units. So, Leon's definitely going to have to deal with these guys. Just remember that, guys. I, he may be a very strong unit, but guess what? If he goes against blue units, that's a, that's not good. It's not good for the boy. I'm going to go ahead and go in that tree so I can get the... Oh yeah, two, two Trinity Vouchers. That's perfect for our, our uh, next banner that we got coming soon. Hopefully his talent procs off again here so that way he can heal up to max health. So when I take on this red... Wow. Wow. Accent I shall receive, right? Okay. Okay, that is going to reach these two. That's A-OK. -okay. And here we go. Alright, we're going to support Leon here while he fights these guys. And have Elwyn go ahead and go after this red unit that is trying to escape here. The Hunter. Elwyn the Hunter. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit him. <clears> okay, <throat> yeah, pretty good deeps, nothing too crazy. The enemy did hit me with a crit though, unfortunately. And we're gonna go ahead and hit again. There we go. But we're not using again to activate his um We're not using again to attack. I know he can kill, but what we're gonna do is activate the fusion power so that way our boy Elwin can definitely truck down that red unit before he escapes and gets the victory so All right there we go yep attack leon attack leon again Ooh, that killed that's a-ok -okay, though now i don't know if we're gonna have the ability to hit this red guy because he's moving quite fast here which is a big a bit of a nuisance if i should say and then what's not gonna help is this uh horseback rider here all right this red unit needs to stop running though fight me like a man right now okay i think he's gonna yeah damn it he definitely got the win there hold on any enemy reaches upper left corner damn okay so we're gonna have to replay that All right, yep, so we're going to rewind this. This is why I love the rewinds. Okay. Now we got to find a point in the match in which we can change. 
Alright, let's see. At what point could we have changed? Did something different? Is it this point? Have a Leon go after the red? Damn. Alright, we'll try from this point. Have Leon go after the red. Have Elwyn attack this guy here. Alright, Mad Whip activated. Hopefully his talent kicks off here, gets him to full health. He is not going to be... Yep, okay, beautiful. Damn, he is not going to be able to take on those blues though. That can be very troublesome for me. Okay. Not going to reach with that. That's A-OK. -okay. Start moving her towards them. Alright, so Leon should be able to truck this red now. Okay, he's going to truck the red. Stop the mobility a little bit here. Beautiful. And now we have our girl here, which she's going to hit prayer. Beautiful. Now, stopping mobility. Okay, so he won't be able to move. All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we just might be able to go get that tree. <laughs> Just, just might, depending, because if they go after Shelf, alright, okay, they're definitely going to kill Shelf, but now I might, yeah, beautiful, I really wanted to get the tree, nice, and activate the fusion power, there we go, Get my two Trinity vouchers. Now, usually I probably would have just cut this out and then uh, just replay the mission from the beginning. But I want to show you guys, like, hey, you know, mistakes do happen. Sometimes you mess up. Okay, my Leon is on rough seas, so that's what's getting him killed. But I should be able to. If Leon could just weaken at least both of them, then I should be fine. All right, here we go. All right, Lance is almost down for the count. Oh, he hit me with Ram. That bastard. Okay. Okay. All right, that might kill my Leon. No, it didn't kill my Leon, but it sure did weaken the crap out of him. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit her with this and hopefully the talent procs off I don't know this is not gonna go too well here all right so he did take quite a lot of damage there but I mean he sustained it so gotta be happy for that let's keep him alive here I know Lance is gonna trade with me on my Leon here or he's actually going to go after the boy Elwyn and Elwyn is gonna say nope screw you and talent procs off all right he's definitely Elwyn's definitely gonna go down here or not wow and talent procs off again Elwyn hanging by a thread let's go you know what can Elwyn clean this can Elwyn clean up I'm gonna try I'm gonna try here we're gonna try to get Elwyn to clean up here weave around hit her with this normal attack here defense break procced off here we go. Let's see what he's got. Ah, oh, 3,000 damage. Oh man, I thought, I thought. Okay, that's A-OK. -okay. His talent didn't proc off either there, so kind of sucks he would have healed up more. But Leon, his brother from another mother, helps him out there. Finish off. Beautiful. Alright guys, so that was the showcase. Like I said, much sorry for the longer video, guys. I just like to really show off the character. And I try to show you guys there that, hey, you know... You can do the missions, you can do these uh, modes and stuff. You don't have to run specific teams. Uh, you can just have fun with the game. I ran a very awkward team there, and as you can see, I was just having a blast. Um, just able to use the units in different manners. Yeah, I had to rewind there, but I mean, it happens. Mistakes happen. Sometimes you just got to play a different way. And obviously, as you can see, if I would have thought my moves through a little bit better, then I would have had checkmate. But other than that, guys, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace out.